also it's, it's put us in a position as parents that to really get our stuff together when it comes to plugging back in <laughs> to the to matrix, the if you will, to yeah. the system. And we've, uh, and we've been, there are benefits to yeah, it. Yeah, there are. And but we've been um, throughout our our time together, we have been kind of anti-state. You know, but, we had a different lifestyle yeah. than the norm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But even when we moved here, we started plugging in a little bit more. Plugging in, but th- but this whole experience has forced us to really plug in. <laughs> but I also think that it's part of our, our journey too, as parents, and, and it's part a of whole our family journey. Yeah, really, and this whole experience has been a learning experience. I just think that it was a hard lesson to learn. It really was a very difficult lesson, and not that. That a person can't live an alternative type of lifestyle. That's not what we're saying. And if you meet Especially our children. Especially when our children were younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think absolutely. we did the right thing. Yeah, but I think as they get older, they have to be um, plugged into the system to a degree to be able to accomplish what yeah. their goals absolutely. are. Yeah, that, that's and it's separate yeah. from what we want for mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. Now it's their choice yeah, that's you know, right. as they get older. That's Especially right. teenagers. Mm-hmm. You know, So that was the main reason why. We were slowly getting on track. But this experience made it to where we had to It jet propelled us into it. (laughs) This show. We're going to go for about an hour, maybe a little bit more than an hour. There is a call-in number. If you want to call in and talk with me, I'll, I'll hand it out a little bit later on. 209-647-1600. There's a participant code, 666-219. And then push star 6 on your keypad. I believe that's what you push. It'll tell you once you call in. Also, there's a chat room at lendingonder.com forward slash, what is this, uh, forward slash media manipulation. If you want to come on over to there, uh, you can ask me a question inside the chat room. There is a way which you can post on YouTube, too, as well. You can do that, but I won't be able to see it. But you're more than welcome to post during the show. That's I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, today's show, I, I'm going to, I want to, I have a, some, a specific topics that I want to get to here today. Okay, yesterday, I kind of just flowed. It was good. I, I enjoyed that. But the thing was that YouTube didn't record everything like it should have. So there was maybe about 30 minutes that wasn't recorded. So that stuff, I got to go over. So if you came yesterday, you know, you probably going to hear some stuff that you already heard before you heard yesterday uh but if you didn't come yesterday that's fine i'm going to review and then we're also going to get into um what i call the 911 fear-based mind control program i'm going to outline what i call the mass media cyclical timeline programming and the main event of the cyclical programming cyclical meaning that it happens over and over again every single year same type of programming around the same time usually within the six weeks leading up to september 11th of any given year we're right in that window now okay we now have about what is this? I said it before. We got about eight days before September 11th. And September 11th is the main event of mass media cyclical program. Why is September 11th the main event? Because September 11th was the most traumatizing global event of our time. You know, I'm going to say this, that the greatest traumas are the ones that people don't realize have happened to them. Think about what I just said. What I just said. The greatest traumas are the ones where, and people do not realize that they have been traumatized. Maybe you were abused as a child. Maybe you were sexually molested, but you don't realize it. Maybe people mistreated you. You were traumatized, but you don't realize it. Maybe you're in a a horrific relationship with someone. Maybe they abused you, but you didn't realize the trauma. Those are the most traumatizing experiences that we have in life. The ones that causes us psychologically to develop an amnesia wall to where we don't recognize the trauma anymore. And there's a lot of people that don't recognize the trauma of September 11, 2001. More important than who did it and why. More important than the mainstream version of September 11th or any of the alternative versions of September 11th. More important than uh, any of that. More important than your beliefs about what took place. More important than what you think is important about September 11th. More important than that is the healing of the trauma of September 11th, which has been embedded within the subconscious mind of the global population. I'll talk more about why that was the case. This is the main event. See, what media does, mass media, this includes mainstream and alternative mass media. What it does is it traumatizes people. I'll put an exclamation mark. That's what it does. It traumatizes people perpetually every single day. We're so used to it, though, however. Because we are, we're in the information age, so we're so used to receiving information that is traumatizing that we don't even think about it anymore. Stories about death, destruction, war, and gore. Death, destruction, war, and gore. Death and destruction, war, and gore. Go to CNN right now while you're listening to the stream. Go look at the headlines. 
Go to Reuters and look at the headlines. Go to Fox and look at the headlines. Go to go, the headlines. Look at go to RT. Go to uh, CNN. Go to uh, any alternative media mouthpiece website and look at the headlines. It's death, destruction, war, and gore, conflict, negativity, toxicity. You are being traumatized. But we don't realize it. We're so used to it because we live in an information age. And see, we're inundated. Here, Here's you. I talked about this yesterday. We're going to do this show every single day, 6 p.m. here on, on YouTube, streaming live, all the way up to 7, September 11th, probably September 11th and September 12th, just to finalize. But here's you. And we're living in 2013 with instant communication. Can y'all see that? Instant communication, and we are literally, you are literally, here's, here's you and me. It's me and you right here, okay? You and me. Me and you. <laughs> 24 is, is 24 hours a day we are being inundated with information. See, we don't realize it because we have been so conditioned this way. Many of us, you know, now the, earth, now the, the younger generation, they have been so conditioned to it that they don't know what to do. You take the iPad away from them. You take the, the television away from them. You take their iPod away from them. You take their computer away from them. You take the Facebook away from them. You take the Twitter, and they won't know what the hell to do. Some of y'all wouldn't know what the hell to do either. Why? Because we've been so conditioned to be receptive and we've gotten used to and accustomed to being bombarded with information. The problem is, is that this information is, in fact, largely toxic. It's negative. It's disempowering. It's also distracting. It distracts us from what is important in life. It distracts us from ourselves. It distracts us from our children. It distracts us from our intellectual processes. And in place of this growth that would normally take place if we weren't bombarded with all of this type of toxicity, negative disempowerment, and distraction, we are issued and we're put into a state, we're issued programming that puts us in a state of fear. Because all of this, whether this is TV, internet, movies, YouTube, in many cases, newspapers, uh, magazines, uh, well, tele what I say tele yeah, television, movies, internet, magazine, news, okay, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All of this, these information streams issue programming that puts most people in a state of fear. And, and because we're being in a state of fear, most of us don't realize it because we're so used to being in this perpetual state of fear. This fear comes out of what, though, however? It comes out of being traumatized. Go look at the headlines right now on CNN. I implore you. Go take a look. It's traumatizing. It's death, destruction, war, and gore. But because we live in an information age and we're so used to receiving information, there's a fly mess with me here, that we're so used to receiving this information that we've gotten accustomed to being in this perpetual state of fear that comes out of being traumatized. Now, real quickly here before we move to, to what I would like to get to today. Uh, and, I, I, you know, I didn't bring my... Okay, everyone, hold on just a second. I got to get my... Oh, I just used this here. My wife, she won't mind. I hope not. Okay, hope she doesn't mind me using this, Okay. Before we move forward, there's something very important that we have to understand. See, the interesting about, thing about media is that we don't realize how much of an impact it has on us because we are so inundated. And it's not until you get away from it just for a little while that you realize how, how um, conditioned we are. So if you go out into nature, take a walk in nature, you spend some time in nature, you don't have your cell phone, you have an iPod, iPad, no internet, nothing like that. And then you feel how you feel when you're out there. And then you come back, then you realize how much impact this mass media 